Hello? Oh, UTC Aerospace, right. You want a missile? I'm on it. Our client is UTC Aerospace. The Aerospace Systems Division is the world's largest aerospace defense product supplier. They have 160 locations in 26 countries. The next generation of aircraft and precision weapons is focused on the innovative development of advanced electric actuation systems. In today's advanced military environment, guided munitions are used to carry out precision strikes, increasing mission success rates, and reducing collateral damage. Developing methods for guided projectiles more accurately is always a point of emphasis for companies such as UTC Aerospace. For our project, we were to design a command position mechanism to control the movement of aerodynamic surfaces such as fins and commands. The design will make use of Russia's DC motors, micro gears, control circuitry, and extensive coding. A trade study was conducted to create the best possible design to fit within our budget. We discussed several motor options during our planning stage and ultimately decided on using brushless DC motors to rotate the canards. We needed to control each motor individually and settled on using Arduino Pro Minis and dual motor controllers for this purpose. We found stainless steel miter gears to transmit the motion from the motors and encoders to keep track of the canard positions. A larger Arduino acts as a guidance computer and sends command signals to each motor individually, in pairs, or all four at once. Our miter gears are made of stainless steel with 16 teeth and a 20 degree pitch angle. Our canards are made from aluminum and are held by a U-shaped bracket. The cylinder is bored out of acrylic and has brass bushings for the canard shafts. The motor holder is 3D printed to the motor dimensions. UTC Aerospace placed restrictions and goals onto this project. The goals were to have canards move 20 degrees in either direction at a rate of 250 degrees per second with only a quarter of a degree overshoot. The design must be limited to 12 to 24 volts while drawing less than 4 amps to simulate real life conditions drawing the remaining power and current from the existing battery. The restrictions placed on us were volumetric. We must fit this device within a cylinder with a length of 70 millimeters and an outer diameter of 57 millimeters. The final design incorporates four micro Arduinos in two pairs. Each pair is communicating to a dual motor driver. An outside Arduino simulating a guidance computer sends serial commands to each of the four micro Arduinos. The commands are executed and encoders on the four micro gear motors give a position measurement accurate to a tenth of a degree. The encoders are set to take precedence in the code. They are coded to interrupt all other functions so that no counts of the position are missed. Varying positions alter the pulse width modulation signal sent to the motor driver, slowing down the motor as it approaches its desired position. In case of overshoot, there is a correction movement to ensure accuracy. You have the option to control the fin movement manually through a serial motor. Alternatively, you can activate the auto mode where it will execute a series of pre-programmed movements.